a very interesting incident happened is when the Meccans said, you know, we'll give you money, wealth, anything you need. He said, I won't stop. I have to finish my mission. This tells us that Muhammad was very sincere in his own belief that he is a prophet of God. Mm-hmm. And what ended up happening was he noticed that people of Mecca aren't really receptive. So he tried another town that was good. That was called Taif. This was very and close. Was, this was very close by right yeah it was pretty close by so he goes there now the the literature doesn't give us the details but apparently he went and talked to the chiefs of chief of the town and it ends up being that muhammad is chased by a bunch of kids and a bunch of people throwing stones at him and he's bleeding and then his adopted son is trying to protect him till they get out to to safety now it is very weird for Arab people at that time to start pelting stones at a guest because they would mm. start wars on the slightest of issues. So something might have happened that triggered a really, really bad reaction. And that part, what happened, is missing. But Wait, can, they would st- start wars on the slightest of issue? You mean they would start wars and slight disrespect of a guest or something? So the tradition of Arabs is that guests should always be treated very, very well. And if they would start wars on, like the story, I think this is obviously a fake story. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash SJME.